Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Learn CSE with RD Ma'am. According to online SAT syllabus, the first topic or the first unit is algorithm. The topic has these four subheadings, namely the definition of an algorithm, characteristics of an algorithm, qualities of an algorithm, and representation of an algorithm. Okay. See, when you write a topic which has a subheadings like these, it is a clever presentation technique that you list it out and give it a box like this. Okay. Firstly, it will have a good impression to the staff who corrects your paper. Secondly, you can quickly write seeing the subheadings instead of thinking about it in the exam hall. Coming to the topic algorithm, the first we have to discuss about the definition of an algorithm. Okay. In computer science and mathematics, an algorithm is a set of instructions used for solving a problem in a step-by-step -step manner. So if you could solve a problem with a set of instructions written in step-wise, then it is called an algorithm. Okay, I'll repeat. If you could solve a problem with a set of instructions written in step-wise, then it can be called as an algorithm. Okay. And uh, after the definition, we'll be explaining some of the characteristics of an algorithm. Firstly, an algorithm has to be finite and it has to be in order and sequence. Okay, what does it mean? Algorithm should be finite. Finite means it has to be countable. It, it has to be countable that is limited. Okay, finite. Ordered and sequence. It has to be in order that is step 1, step 2, step 3 and so on and it has to have a sequence. The second characteristic is that it is a description of a process independent of any programming language. It is just a description of a process. An algorithm is just a description of a process and it is independent of programming languages. Okay, that is the second point. The third point is that it can be implemented in many different languages. See, it is a, it is a description of a process but it can be implemented in different languages. Okay, that is the third point. And next, we are going to see an example of an algorithm. This is an example for sum of two numbers. Okay, an algorithm must start with step one, which is start, and it has to be in order and sequence, as I told before. By default, the first step and the last step will be start and stop okay the second step read the number of read number one and two see you're going to write an algorithm for summing the two numbers so you have to read n1 and n2 from the user okay that will be the second step and now in the third step we are adding n1 and n2 and summing it and storing in the variable sum okay and the fourth step is you have to display the sum and finally stop this algorithm is an important or expected two mark question in university. So how do you write it? As I taught before, you have to write the definition first and give some of the characteristics and complete it with an example. Okay?